guys welcome back here again and i welcome you yet again to my amazing page today we'll be making this soup that is fast becoming my favorite so sit tight and let's make this together and if this is your first time on this page please like subscribe share and engage with my videos thank you so i'm going to begin by running us through the ingredients we need in making this delicious soup first we need our stock fish and dry fish this is very important for taste the next thing you need is your obono seeds you need your crayfish i like fresh pepper so scotch bonnet palm oil opay seeds onions any protein of I choice i also use some perinkles for extra flavors and then dry bitter leaves because i am in the diaspora and can't so get the first fresh thing to ones. do is to go in with your protein and then the next thing to do is go in with your stock fish and your dry fish after which you add some water to begin to cook the soup i added two bowls of water and i went in with some seasoning and the onions as well i gave that a good stir and i covered it to cook and boil i then proceeded to start blending my obono seed i blended it twice and after blending it i had this texture then it was ready i went ahead to blend the opay seeds and because the i am using dry as well, for this soup i had to cook that for about 30 minutes to get soft and by that time our protein was already soft enough i brought out another pan went in with the palm oil and then i proceeded to add the obono that i blended i gave this a good stir and just fried it and mixed it well i made sure all the whole part was smooth and well mixed into the oil after doing this i proceeded to go in with the obono mixture into the boiling protein and then i gave it a very good stir i just allowed it to cook for a little while so the drawiness can come out because my ogbono was too thick i added some water to it and then proceeded to add my peppers my crayfish and the okwe seed you can tell that this soup is coming on well then i added some seasoning and gave it a good stir and just allowed it to cook for a while if you make this soup this way just be sure that you're going to be having a treat because this is so so delicious and it goes with all swallows i finished this up with the periwinkles i had and i just set it in and allowed it to cook for a little while guys our soup is almost ready here and we just have to just leave it on fire to cook for a little while so that all the ingredients can blend in together before we then go in with the bitter leaf we already boiled swallow for it is fufu. so i just gave the soup a very good stir and i just allowed it cook for a little and while that is it guys our soup is ready as somebody in the diaspora i really love to make nigerian meals and the fact that i can make this soup every time it gives me so much joy remember that you don't have to have fresh bitter leaves for this if you have fresh bitter leaves fine but if you are in the diaspora like me you can use your dry bitter leaf and it will still come out amazing i dished out some of this soup and i had it with some curry and it was delicious please tell me you'll be trying out this recipe and don't forget to subscribe thanks for always and bye now